Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani and welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism, difficult relationships, and toxic people in general. It's my hope that the content offered on this channel will help you better understand these patterns, these relationships, and answer your questions. Many of these ideas come from you. And if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe, hit that subscribe button, or hit that bell. If you hit that, you'll get notifications when videos come out, which is every day. So many of you have said to me, hey, or said to us, and said to the comments, what the heck is the difference between a healthy versus a narcissistic relationship? I've been in an unhealthy one for so long, I don't know the difference. So in this, th these again, these little series, we're gonna take on all kinds of issues. And in this one, we're gonna have this sort of side-by-side -side descriptions of healthy relationships versus narcissistic ones. Like I said, so many people have re reached out and wrote in and tell me, you know what? I'm beginning to realize that half of my problem is that I don't even know what a healthy relationship looks like. So like I said, in this little series, we will take on some issues that come up in relationships and the difference between how, this, how these, these themes and these dynamics may play out in a healthy versus an unhealthy relationship. So let's begin with a dynamic that's probably never healthy, but let's break it down, which is insults. This is an easy one to begin with. Most of you are like, yeah, insults don't seem like a healthy part of a relationship because by and large, healthy relationships do not involve insults per se. Insults can be anything from a diminishment of someone's abilities, telling someone, yeah, you're a lousy cook, you're a terrible provider, you're the worst present rapper I've ever seen, whatever an insult would be. You might insult someone as a person. You're the worst. I can't believe I have to be seen with you. I can do better than you. Could be, insults could be about a person's appearance, a person's preferences, the list goes on and on. I'm not talking, an insult here is what I'm not talking about good natured ribbing, like fun jabs at silly foibles ranging from, I don't know, bathroom habits like passing gas to putting strange condiments on food. We know the difference. An insult has edge, it has a sneer, it has contempt. An insult is intended to harm. An insult, here I'm talking about devaluation dehumanization, making someone feel less than. It doesn't feel funny. You don't want to laugh. It leaves you feeling angry, hurt, not enough, and unsafe. That's insult. And insults, frankly, are the love language of the narcissistic relationship. It's about the narcissistic need to dominate, coupled with the contempt that narcissistic people feel for the people that they need. So by insulting them, it limits any kind of intimacy and any kind of vulnerability, and it also allows the narcissistic person to maintain control, power, and dominance. Now, in a healthy relationship, insults aren't a thing. Good-natured uh, good ribbing, for sure. But those little good-natured, you know, little you know, playful jabs, those work because a healthy relationship is a safe place. I will say the people closest to me joke about how I think ginger ale and a soak in the bathtub are apparently the cure for everything and that a grown woman of 55 years of age should not be carrying a backpack and calling it a purse. And I joke with the people who are very close and dear to me how they need to stop watching Lifetime movies and considering a Lifetime movie to be a documentary. And those of you I'm talking about in my life, you know who you are. And we talk about it and we know. It makes us smile and laugh and we don't feel hurt. Many times people in narcissistic relationships who face down contemptuous, bleak insults, and that can be coupled with other abusive language like name calling or lots of use, abusive use of obscenities. Those folks will try to soft pedal and say, oh now we only hurt the ones we love. No, we don't. Or people caught in these relationships will say, that's just us being comfortable. In a relationship, you should be able to say anything. Not so sure about that. Over a lifetime of hearing insults, when that happens, it sort of seeps into our emotional DNA and it transforms us. 
we become more accustomed to hearing them. We may even shape our identity around them and just accept those insults as a way that people interact with us. People who had narcissistic parents will say, will say that a lifetime of insults set them up to end up choosing narcissistic partners or to believe in the insults they hear or stay in jobs in which insults and abuse are part of the workplace culture. Insults are insults and they are not observed in healthy relationships. In healthy relationships, we may have soft-hearted jokes and we may notice and comment and giggle about the foibles of the person we love with the built-in knowledge that we love these people, we keep them safe regardless of their flatulence, their condiment choices, their ginger ale, their snoring, their TV choices, and their kitchen skills. But if we were ever told it hurt them, we would stop immediately. Insults are psychological daggers. They hurt. And when we hear them, we feel a lump in our throats. If they are happening, it isn't healthy. Insults are not just words, but insults can also include the tone of our voice when we speak to someone, our body language, frequent use of obscenities, and going after vulnerabilities. For example, a person's weight, their appearance, or other sensitivities they may have. All of these are in the realm of the insult and not the good-natured and affectionate banter. When someone does and says these things and then tries to soft pedal it, honestly, I think that that's gaslighting. Contempt is the death of a relationship. The research of John Gottman has consistently shown that and insults are a primary means of communicating that contempt. And if you feel you have to stay in a relationship characterized by insults, always remember, don't justify those insults to yourself or rationalize them. As I've always told you, force yourself into the and. For example, I am in a relationship with a person and they regularly insult me. Why do I want you to do that? Because it creates a personal accountability for you and keeps you from falling too far down the cognitive dissonance well. Again, I'm never here to tell any of you to leave a relationship or stay in a relationship. I'm here to tell you what the geography is and give you the tools you need to navigate it. But to recognize that if insults are happening, it's never okay. Like I said, force yourself into the and. I'm in a relationship and I'm insulted. From there on in, you decide how you want to proceed. Stay in it, leave in it, set boundaries, but just don't justify it. So thanks again.